Welcome to Ball Talk Deep, where we talk deep about balls. And Jordan Irwin back at it again. Drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment before we get into it. We post five plus videos a week, and this time around, we're doing another series previews for the West because it's finally gotten decided. And y'all can check out the other f- series previews we've done for the East already, and those games have already gone under the way, underway. <laughs> And this time is way better than the first round series because we actually get to deter- determine these teams a little bit more accurate and better based off their first round uh, performance, which is at least going to tell us a little bit more about how they're going to perform in the postseason as opposed to the regular season. Yeah, of course, man. And who would have thought that in the beginning of the playoffs, we're going to be seeing this matchup for different reasons. The Suns taking down the Lakers and the Nuggets without the second best player in Jamal Murray. Yeah. Meeting up here in round two. Which can be a big, big, big effect on how far Denver can go. And the Suns, man, uh, it's a, bit, it's a nice little surprise. Even though it shouldn't be a surprise as a second seed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, like I said, man, like that guy that, that, that was going up in dunks, man. Congrats to the Suns. <laughs> They're the first number two seed to pull off an upset on a number seven seed. And for the Nuggets, I mean, if you ask their fans, I think they'd rather, much rather see the the Suns than a fully healthy Lakers team. Oh, for sure. Sh- um, Dude, could you imagine yeah, <laughs> having to see LeBron in AD right now? Yeah. Hell man, no. Healthy, hell no, man. Fuck that shit. But uh, let's get to it, man. What do you think about this series? How do you think it's going to go? Is it going to be a long? Is it going to be a short series? How many games? What's up? I think, I think actually this, this series is going to go down to the very end of and it's going to be long, six, seven games. I'm kind of expecting seven games, to be honest, okay. because <clears throat> if Denver had Jamal Murray, it would be a different ball game for me, at least. Like, I would have had Nuggets, I don't want to say heavily fla- favored, but more heavily uh, f- leaned on than I do right now. Of course. <clears throat> and a oh, fun still fact. With them. Oh. oh, I still am. <clears throat> and a big reason is... um. All three regular season meetings these teams had, regardless of who was playing and who was not, because it would vary different depending on the three games they played. Um, all all <clears throat> three games were within five points and in the last five minutes. And I don't put a lot of weight on regular season uh, stats and performances and things that happen. Of course. But that was just something that kind of stuck out to me because it says a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah of And I'm kind of expecting the same thing to happen here. <clears throat> and also keep in mind that while Denver is... Uh, Missy Murray The Suns also have an injury of their own Well uh, a heavy uh, Not heavy injury An influential injury In possibly Chris Shoulder's uh, Nagging shoulder injury Chris Paul Chris Paul Who did I say Oh Chris Chris Shoulder I just combined it Yeah I mean, yeah, that's true. That's something that, to watch out but, for. Yeah, it is, but it's not affecting him to the point that it's affecting his playmaking. And, and if Chris Paul can still affect the game, you know, his playmaking with the way how Booker's been playing, I think they'll be fine. No, that's very true. <clears throat> and one thing I, uh, I want to point out that shows uh, Chris Paul's effective uh, effect in the game is in the first round, he still was able to dish out 46 assists on only nine turnovers. So that goes to show that okay cp3 effect is still in full swing but you don't you know the more time that passes the worse or the the longer that injury you know gradually worsens you know what i mean because the guy is, is an athlete and every game he's putting more and more of a physical toll on his body that's true man but come on man like as we discussed this before there's arguably chris paul's best chance that he's had in a while to <clears throat> get his first for sure break. and i'm very uh, scared if I was the Nuggets, like uh, how far that mental he'll be able to focus, push. yeah, and that 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 hunger, not just with him but the whole team, especially CP3. Like, okay, this is my time. I'm gonna go all out right now. You yeah. know, I'm sure that's in Chris Paul's mind. And this could be the series where like the absence of Murray could uh, also finally come through in the sense of like, okay, we'll see the Denver Nuggets that we've been kind of expecting to see in a way of like, yeah. okay, they're missing their second best player. They're not going to go too far in the postseason. The first round, you know, surprised some people. But in my head, one thing that I have in mind is, like, maybe Jokic pulls, similar to Luka for the Mavs, it, um, being able to carry the team, but actually being able to win the series on, like, Luka. That could definitely happen. And, and obviously, uh, Joker being the MVP, as he uh, should be, well, I'm, I'm assuming yes. he's going to win the MVP. We've been saying, um, yeah. Uh, give the man his flowers. Like, yeah, you got to give the man his flowers. But look, at the end of the day, man, um, I'm going to have the Suns in seven. Uh, mostly being that the Suns are a much better team defensively, being number the 
number six team defensively compared to the Portland uh, Blazers that they're the number 29th team. The Nuggets are not going to be able to pick apart that defense as easily as they did with the Trail Blazers. So that's mm-hmm. going to play it into effect as well. And like you were saying as well, I think the injuries with the Nuggets are finally going to catch up this time around with a more talented. That's the only team. thing that makes me hesitant. That's um, the main thing that makes yeah, me hesitant. Yeah, it's going to catch up. And it's not only Murray. I know Nuggets fans will be like, yeah, hey, yo, the, like, the press is all good. Uh, the press is all talking about Murray. Dozier is also off. Barden is off. No, yeah, there's uh, a... Even though they say that uh, those guys decent are amount. probably going to come back in the series, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, nah, man, Aaron Gordon is going to pop off and become the x Factor. I'm just <laughs> I mean, we'll see, man. Uh, he is low-key, in my opinion, one of the X-Factors that could help Nuggets look, get past this. Some quick factors I want to give out with this series. Like, the matchup between Aiton um, and Joker is obviously going to be one to watch, depending, you know, how much Joker can pick apart yes. Aiton. is going to be the difference with whether this is a six... Um, if it's going to be a six games or seven games. But keep in mind, even if Aiton plays great defense on Jokic... Jokic is still a floor general, he's, so he, he's still gonna, watch out. And he's, MPJ, man, I don't know, man. Maybe he. I, I was actually about to get. He that. can be a little consistent, uh, but maybe no, he no, finds no. his rhythm in this. No, in well, this spot. well, shit, he definitely did in Game Five and Game Six versus the. Uh, no, Blazers exactly. He popped up for tw- for twenty five plus. Uh, probably Bridges is gonna be the one uh, getting that assignment versus uh, Michael Porter Jr. It's gonna be very interesting to see how he'll be able to slow him down. Probably Jay Crowder is probably gonna get some time as well. Uh, One thing to watch that. out with Jay Crowder is that if y'all watched the finals last year, or just in general, Crowder in the, the postseason, yes, and he may have some of those cold because he's been hot. He's been hot, so that means that the coldness is is awaiting. You know, <laughs> winter is coming for Crowder. We'll see, man. And um, last <clears throat> but last but not least, we brought, we uh, we briefly brought this up. Um, how the fuck are the Nuggets gonna stop CP3 and Booker? I mean. Dude, the they, <laughs> yeah, like, that backcourt matchup yeah, is going to be funny. Like, Compasso Rivers versus CP3 and Booker. Um, an interesting thing that I did see in round one that briefly worked versus Dame time is that uh, Coach Malone did put Aaron Gordon briefly on Damian Lillard. It seemed to work in short spurts. But in short spurts, yes, because uh, Gordon can defend anybody. Uh, but I'm, inter- I'm interested to see if he's going to go through that again. On um, Booker? On Booker or uh, Chris Paul. I think he Paul. can slow down Booker. Uh, he, he don't need to do it on Chris Paul. As you guys saw in uh, in round one, Dame didn't give a shit. He popped off. But what do you think of that? I mean, I say one thing to watch with this series is I'm expecting a lot of inside game from the Nuggets and a lot of shooting outside game from the Suns. Suns are known for being uh, a shooting team, especially from the mid-range. And... They only shot 43% of their shots from the paint during the regular season, which was the league's second lowest. And I think as long as Denver can do a a decent job, not a great job, but just a decent job defending from the perimeter, that could slow down Phoenix tremendously. And look at Jokic's stacks for for the first round. And I'm only going to focus on Jokic because to me, I got Denver, but the biggest reason I got Denver is because of Jokic. If, If Jokic wasn't there... The fuck? Yes. And Jokic, to me, is a superstar. He's not just a star. He's on that level. Especially this season. He's performing well, at a superstar level. Well, I mean, I've been saying this for a couple years already. Jo- he's jo- your favorite player ever? He's one of my favorite players. Uh, Joker's actually, he's the best player. He's the best center in the NBA, no doubt. Yeah, whatsoever. Embiid's going to smack you in the Nah, mouth. man, that's his. It smacks. <laughs> No, okay, but I got, no, that that's still oh, straight okay, up. That's okay. I thought you were gonna back. go in. I thought you were nah, gonna go nah, 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 Performing at that level the entire series, maybe even a little higher in terms of with the assist, and bump that up to possibly even a triple double, like an actual triple double, or at least close to it. And like I said, MPJ and even Aaron Gordon are two players that I personally am gonna watch out for um, in this series. And I think Rivers, people underestimate Rivers. Like I'm not saying he's gonna have he's not he's a valuable asset but he does have his valuable moments he's a nice and he's player. shown it during his clippers days he's he, yeah he's shown it he showed it in the first round and i think that's someone to watch out i think Campazo, while he is a quote-unquote rookie the yeah. man's been through a lot of shit he's been playing ball for a minute he's been playing in professional leagues for a minute and i don't think unlike a lot of rookie guards 
I I expect them to do fairly decent on Chris Paul, although Campasso is a smaller man and CP is CP, but also CP is of age. Campasso is noticeably younger, like I think by five plus years, yeah, five yeah. to six years. Uh, Monte Morris is someone else to watch out for, though I don't know if he's just going to be able to elevate for me. It's MPJ and like Aaron dad. Gordon taking it down the paint and having some of those outside shots because he had that valuable three. Yeah. For, for the Nuggets in the first round. Yeah, man, it's like going to be best. It's be based on how their best players do, guys. But let us know in the comments what you guys think. You think Basically, it? just watch out for Booker versus Jokic. The yeah, stars, yeah. man. Because I know a lot of people in the playoffs like to point out all these different players and depth and coaching. And all, obviously, that goes without saying. That's important. And you're not going to get to the position of being in the finals or in the whatever yeah, playoff but, position you're in without those people. But come on. No, it's no, no, all no, about... No. Ultimately, relying on you your pick. star player, your superstars, whether yeah, you got one or two, true, or three. <laughs> true, but the importance of having home court advantage is that usually your your role players are going to play better at home. And hey, Suns, oh, my bad, continue. No, I mean, the Suns having home court advantage, that's going to be able to help out and give more opportunities for their <clears throat> role players to step up. No, that's true. And uh, last thing I want to point out is who's got overall more playoff experience? For me, it's the, the Nuggets, Nuggets, obviously. So... Yeah, the experience for the Suns might pop up as yeah. well. Yeah, Chris Paul has more experience. Crowder obviously went to the finals. A couple other players on the team, but it's like overall, I'm still on the Nuggets. And I still think, I think one, they got a chip on their shoulder. Like, yeah, we don't got Murray, but we're still going to push it. Two, they were recently in the Western Conference Finals. Three, Jokic. Jokic, Jokic, Jokic. Y'all, y'all watch out for that. Uh, but uh, guys, let's Although I wouldn't be mad for, you know, if the Suns go through because CP3, man. Yeah. I'm but, rooting for you. But anyways. <laughs> Uh, guys, let us know in the comments what you guys think. You guys think it's going to be a long series? Is CP3 going to have Dude, if best? someone says, like, in five, like, we've got another video series pre- previews, like, no, man, there's no way this series is going to end that quickly. I mean, we, I mean there's we no are, way. I mean, we don't know. It seems like we might be wrong about the Hawks series. Um, so, Yo. shit. Uh, <sighs> Whatever. I'll talk about that in the game reaction let, for the but, Hawks. But let, us know, but let us know what you guys think. Who you guys got winning? How many games? Um, did we miss anything? Or is there anything you guys want to add? Either way, appreciate all the love and the you hate. You guys missed everything. You guys missed everything. The disrespect. The disrespect. Hey, watch out for Bobo. Bo. What? <laughs> uh, either way, guys, appreciate all the love and the hate. You guys already know. Catch us on Twitter, TikTok, and uh, podcast streaming. What? All podcast platforms. All podcast platforms. Uh, Ball Talk Deep. We'll catch you guys soon. For now, Take care.